And good evening, everybody. Tyler Rowland here with Video Productions, and we have some MEC football action coming to you live here from West Virginia State University, Lake and Ray Field at Dickerson Stadium, as we're about 10 minutes until the kickoff for this one between West Virginia State coming into with a record of two and one, the Yellow Jackets competing against the, the pioneers of Glenville State, who are two and oh. I'm Tyler Rowland, and it's a joy to be with you here on this broadcast tonight. And a big shout out with me is Garrett Lester on Productions. And we're going to take our first break coming up shortly. We'll come back. We'll talk about the teams. You're watching Yellow Jackets football here on the MEC Network, brought to you by Video Productions. Dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? For more than 125 years, West Virginia State University has been educating generations of students who have gone on to change the world. At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty, You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. Hi, I'm Keith Powell with Yes Chevy and Yes Ford. And right now at our Let's Trade Keys event, Give me the keys to your old ride and pick out the keys to any car on my lot. And your payments will stay the same until 2024. But hurry, I can only help the first 77 people only at Yes Chevy in Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington, where every car comes with a lifetime warranty. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan here for you. And we're back, and here come the Yellow Jackets as they're getting ready for kickoff. We're about seven minutes away, and I'm Tyler Rowland. We're getting ready for the what's going to be a great matchup, these two MEC conference foes with West Virginia State, the Yellow Jackets, and Glenville State, the Pioneers. And we're going to open up talking a little bit about West Virginia State as they come into this game with a record of 2-1, and one, their lone loss being to – Moorhead State, and just looking at things first off, if you're West Virginia State, one thing that uh, that immediately hits is they've trailed by double digits early in two of their three games against Moorhead State. They trailed 24-7. They trailed 14-3 against UNC Pembroke. But I think tonight, what's going to one of the things that's going to be important for State is to get off to a hot start and continue to perform well in, uh, again, of course, utilizing their ground game, which they have one of the best backs in the country, and you'll get uh, who's going to be a real treat to watch, the 5'11", 200-pound junior, Joel Felder, as he'll be, he has had a phenomenal season, averaging 7.1 yards per carry and 428 yards on the ground, and be prepared to see him. And we're going to take a break and come back. You're watching Video Productions. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. 
I got involved in officiating volleyball eight years after I played Division I in college. And I wanted to do more than just be a spectator. I wanted to get involved and give back to the sport that I've loved for so long. I'm a speaker. A builder. I coach. Culinary arts. Auditor. A firefighter. And I'm a volleyball official. Officiating volleyball was something that helped me to reconnect to my roots. Volleyball officiating will bring positive influences into your life along with lifelong friends. I said yes to becoming a volleyball official so that I could give back to the game. Saying yes to volleyball officiating will give you the privilege to be a part of one of the most exciting sports around. Challenge yourself as a referee to always be the best you can be. For anyone contemplating becoming a volleyball official, just go for it. Take the plunge, open the door, stay on the court. Just say yes. Say yes to officiating. Learn more about how to get involved at sayyestoofficiating.com. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference. And we're back. You're watching Yellow Jackets football here on the MEC Network, brought to you by Video Productions, as we're about just over three minutes away from the kickoff between M Glenville State and West Virginia State and picking up where we left off. I think for West Virginia State, no doubt about it, you have one of the best backs in the country in Felder. Take, a, take advantage of that. Put him to good use. He's had, as they have done all year, and Felder, who's averaged seven yards a carry, and as I mean, on his way to averaging well over, a, or on his way to well over a thousand yards, if he continues the the pace that he's at. And of course, you, Donovan Riddick has done a fantastic job at quarterback this season. The the graduate quarterback is has thrown for 46 career touchdowns, and also is close to rushing for a thousand yards over the course of his career. And Riddick, who right now is completing. 75% of his passes for the year. So one of the best completion percentages in the country, number three right now as we're looking down at the coin toss and we'll see who ends up. Okay, man. Ends up getting <laughs> Let's have a great contest. we got beautiful weather. Glenville, you're the visiting. This is heads. This is tails. Heads. Tails. Tails. Tails, Tails is called. Let it play. <laughs> She's my friend. Go ahead. It is a heads. Hey. Watch Virginia State is one. Right. Watch Virginia State will defer to the second half. Oh. <laughs> okay, so Glenville State will open up with the football. Glenville State will receive the opening kickoff. Here, here we go. We're going to get things underway here. Just under a minute to go until kickoff. And Glenville State, one thing that has anchored them so far this season, their defense, ranked number 28 nationally. And uh, on, on the, and I mean, the rushing game, they have only given up 111 yards per game. And, I mean, that's about 60 yards less than they allowed last year. They were ranked 116 out of a, about 160 teams, and that gave up 177 yards per game last year. So, I mean, it's only been two games, but so far that's a big improvement. Of course, Glenville State coming off a big win against number six ranked nationally, Notre Dame College. And of course, Glenville State coming off a win against, or West Virginia State coming off a win against Concord and State, who has had two games this year that have been decided by the score of 37-35. They lost to Division I school Moorhead State and then to UN, um, then beat UNC Pembroke for the first time ever as, in the, as Glenville State taking the field. And here comes West Virginia State. And we're about to get this underway here as we, ha we have back for West, West Virginia State. We have... 
That's number one, Zion Barnett, a senior, and returning, and, and number five, Orion Bonner, who is also back, and then kicking for for, for West Virginia uh, for West Virginia State. That uh, that should be be number 99, Brandon Schmidt. That's out there, the junior, and. Here we go, first quarter action underway, and it's a short kick and recovered, and that'll that'll give, so Glenville State will start out from the 35 to open the game up. As we're live here from Lakin, Lakin Ray Field at Dickerson Stadium. And, and here we go, it's handed off. No, it's going to be a pass and incomplete. So he tried the tried to fake the first play and pass was just went through his hands. So second down. And that looks like that was intended for Barnett. So they're going to stick with the shotgun formation here. Second and ten. Man in motion again. And here we go. Rolling out and pass is complete, but tackled out of bounds. And that, that is complete to number two, Tariq Miller, the senior. And that will be a gain of about four. So third down and six coming up for Glenville State. They will need to get past their own 45 to get the first down. So two pass plays here starting the game off as State struggled. Glenville has struggled a little bit with the run game, averaging just under three yards a carry so far this year. There's a little bit of movement, and here we go. Drops back, and he's going to go for the long ball, and passes incomplete. The pass was intended. Looks like it was intended downfield for Miller again. So that's going to – as Garrett, so three pass plays starting out for Glenville State early, and they will punt on their – as the punt team comes out. And that will be number 86, Xander Watson, the freshman coming out to punt and returning for for West Virginia for, or for for West Virginia State should be Jawan Bunch. As that's kicked and Bunch is motions going out of bounds, so West Virginia State will now take control of the football. And this is this is going to be where it gets interesting watching the offense here. You have Felder coming out, and Felder, a top five running back of the country, running the rushing the football. But you also have a top fifty defense in Glenville State, so something has to give. As now that's going to be State coming out, and that's Felder in the backfield, Riddick at quarterback, and here we go. First play of the game for West Virginia State as it was a three and out for Glenville starting, and it's going to be a, a screen thrown to the flat. It's caught in a gain of about five. And that pass was well, that that pass was complete. And so that'll be again second of, or a gain of about six now, actually, as that's going to be and he's tackled in the backfield. And they got back there. That was number 34, Max Boyd, the sophomore, that was in on that. And that was Joe Jones who had that reception earlier. <laughs> I was trying to get a good view of him as that's going to be third and seven for State now. Here they need to get past their own 45 to get the first down. And he's going to drop back Riddick, and he's going to scramble Riddick. First down and then some 50, 45, 40, and that's going to move the chain. So Riddick, a big scramble on the ground. And that's going to set West Virginia State up in Glenville State territory as, as that's going to be, or actually they're going to, it'll be spotted about the 44. So here we go as West Virginia State rushing the tempo as it's handed off. Felder up the middle. He has a big hole. Felder, first down, close to it. He stays on his feet, gets tackled, and he's going to be awfully close to the first down marker. We'll see where... It is, and that'll be a gain of, he'll be just short, that'll be a gain of about eight. 
So second down and, and about two for State, for the Jackets, as that's going to be a pass. And under some pressure, it's thrown to a wide open receiver. It's caught by Bunch. He spins and gets the first down. So two first downs for West Virginia State here on this first drive. Robertson on the tackle. First reception for Jawan, Jawan Bunch. And the, so now State coming out and again continuing to, to push tempo as it's going to be a two-man backfield now. And man in motion. And it snapped. Faked. And Reddick spins out. And he's going to get one, maybe, maybe one. Maybe a little bit of a loss, actually, as looks like that'll be the case. So second down and 11 for the Yellow Jackets. As Bunch comes back in. And you know, second and 11 coming up for the Yellow Jackets as the ball snapped and pressure coming. It's thrown, caught, and a Close to a first down. Looks like he got it by a couple yards for State. So another reception for for Jones as, as they were able to pick up the Glenville State Blitz. And now a third first down for West Virginia State as they are now in the red zone here in the first quarter. Felder gets tackled. As now Felder with the, the carry. He, uh, that'll be a gain of about two. So second and second and eight coming up. That'll be the the third or third carry for Felder. So far 24 yards on the ground for state and 24 yards through the air as well for the Jackets. As man goes in motion. And it's snapped. Riddick, he's looking, looking, thrown to the end zone. And incomplete. Looks like that pass was deflected out. And that was good. Good defense on that play. That looked like number 10, Sean Scott, the sophomore, as it's going to be third and nine now for the Jackets. Here as they are in the red zone. And, of course, they have a, a favorable third down percentage so far this season. As Glenville State locking up. And it's snapped. Riddick he drops back, looks, looks, fade to the end zone, and in and out of the hands of the receiver. That almost on target. That was number 18, Javion Monroe, the senior. And so that'll be fourth down now coming up. And they're going to bring in Schmidt to kick. This will be a 34-yard field goal attempt. Snaps back. The kick is up. And it's good. So West Virginia State takes a 3-0 lead in the first quarter on a drive that went 11 plays for 48 yards. For timeout. Media timeout. And so a timeout. Early, we're going to keep clock it. Game clock operator, please reset the game clock to 943. 943. Okay, so I'm going to change the, the game clock. But right now, so West Virginia State starts off, and you can see they're trying to push tempo. I thought on that first drive they did a good job picking up the, the pressure that – Glenville State was sending, and which of course we were expecting to see, but uh, I mean, definitely, uh, definitely, I felt like they were able to establish their tempo, and of course, it'll be interesting to see 
how what, how Glenville State how the Pioneers respond. They had the ball first and to, and went for and had went three and out through three passes and just see and and then punted to State. But now the Yellow Jackets will come back out to to kick again. It was a short kick last time, so we'll see what Schmidt decides to do for this one. As that's Barnett and Bonner back to return again, and it's a little bit deeper, and that'll be caught. And Glenville State on the return, and that that goes in it, and he gets to about the 25-yard line, as that's actually Dane Lynch that returned that one. So now they will, Glenville State will have it first and 10, starting about the 28-yard line. Here, if you're just tuning in, so far each team has had one possession. Glenville State started off and went three and out uh, after three pass attempts. They tried to go downfield, but was incomplete as now they're going to come out and going under center this time, single back formation. And here we go. It's handed off. They're going to go to the run and right there to get him. It's the, the Yellow Jacket defense. Good play. Good, good disciplined wrap up. So now second and nine coming up. And here we go. They're going to try downfield again and overthrown. Complete. So set. Uh, so third and nine now for third and nine coming up for. I think. And that was Tim Samford that had that tackle earlier. By the way, is now this th on this third and nine state will. Will, or Glenville State will have it. So, again, a third, they had a third and six on their prior set situation. And here we go. They need to get past the, their own 38. It's thrown and incomplete. Looks like the ball was deflected on that play. They tried to go to Bonner, but that pass... It was pressured pretty heavily, and that was number nine, Witcher, that got back there to the 230-pound senior to make the play. So now it's going to be, again, thir four, fourth down for Glenville State as Xander Watson comes out to punt. And Bunch back to return for State for the Yellow Jackets. And a flag down. And that's going to be motion, first for first penalty of the game for either team. Ball start. Kicking team, number five. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. So that'll be a false start against Orion Bonner on that play. And so that'll make it fourth and 14 now for the Pioneers. And they will – and we go nearly blocked on that play as it goes back and – the Jackets will return this one, and good hustle getting back, but another flag down. That was Bonner that, that made the play. We'll see what the penalty is. 29. What's that? Return. Yes. During the return. Illegal block in the back. Receiving team, number 22. 10-yard penalty, first down. Okay, so that'll... Correction. The number was 29. Okay, so that will go against number number 29, Frank Mosley, the, the freshman. And that will move state... Or that'll move the Jackets back to their own... 18-yard line. 
So as they're going to, they got a field goal on their last drive as they send a man in motion. And here we go. That's Riddick in the backfield. Riddick along with 28, Tayshawn Butler, the sophomore that's out there. And it's handed off up the middle. He's going to carry it, get a couple. So that'll be a gain of two. So second and eight now for the Yellow Jackets. So now that's going to be Riddick and Butler in the backfield. Jones also in there as the slot back. And it's snapped. Riddick's going to roll out. And throw, and it's caught by Bunch. It's a first down for the Yellow Jackets. Bunch with his second reception, and the chains will again move. So the Yellow Jackets again getting some consistent offense, and Riddick, who has one of the best completion percentages in the country, right now four for six for 38 yards. As it's handed off up the middle again, and that looked like Butler carrying it. And he's going to get one. So second and nine, again, a fast-paced offense for, for West Virginia State that averages well over 400 yards per game, one of the best in the country as they're going to go back at it again. And Glenville State showing blitz, and they're going to send it up the middle. It's pressured, and he looks, and good coverage. Gritick gets taken down right at the line. So it'll be that'll make it third and nine now for the Yellow Jackets. As they need to get past the their own 44 to get the first first down. And back to the line. They're going to go trips at the bottom of your screen. And snapped a flag down. Multiple flags. We'll see what the what the call is. It's probably movement one, I'd say one way or the other. Offsides, defense, number 27, five-yard penalty, third down. Okay, so that's going to go against the, the Glenville State defense. As, so that'll make it a third and more manageable four yards. And the ball snapped. Riddick's going to roll out. He's under pressure, but completes it to Butler. And Butler goes up the middle, stays on his feet. First down and then some, and he'll get to midfield. Fifth pass completion for DeAndre or for, for Donovan Riddick. And now the the ja yellow jacket offense continuing to move the football well as Tayshawn Butler, the reception, and Good, good movement by, I mean, that was a good job, good lateral agility to keep his feet up and get the ball to, to midfield. And it snapped again up the middle, and that'll be a, a three-yard game. Butler again carrying the football. That's the third time he's carried it on this drive. That'll be a gain of about three. 30 rushing yards now for... The Yellow Jackets, 48 yards through the air. Compared to only five so far for the Pioneers. Second and seven now is, as Riddick fakes it, and it's thrown. Caught in the flats and a burst of speed. First down and some more. And that was a heck of a good catch. That was, num that was number 11, Amar Amari Airy. Who gets the first down, so six pass completion for Riddick now. He is six of eight. And another first down as the, the, the state again getting deeper into Glen or getting deeper into Pioneer territory. Felder carries it. He's gonna break through a couple tackles and get three, maybe four. That'll be second and seven from the 20. It looked like Hayden Moore that got the tackle for, for the Pioneers. Man in motion. That's Felder. 
Felder has 12 receptions on the year. It's thrown, caught, or no, dropped. As that's going to be a, and a tough, dang, almost a fumble on that, you could say. But he went went down. That's, of course, a dangerous thing. Glenville State right now leading the country in defensive scores. They have had four touchdowns on defense in their first two games. As that's going to be third and seven. As they need to get, the Jackets need to get past the 22 of Glenville State to get the first down. And Riddick is tackled in the backfield. And that is number 32, Brogan Brown, that got back there. As that's going to be a fourth and very long situation now. And uh, they're going to send on the punting unit. And so, so now out, out will come out will come number ninety nine, Brandon Schmidt, the junior, to have at it. Good hold from Glenville State on that defensively. That pressure just got in the backfield. They were able to get through the line as this one's kicked up, and that's going to be caught at about the four yard line. And that is timeout. Media timeout. Timeout. We'll, so we'll go ahead and keep it here. But early on, a, a first, first, first down play. So well, each team has had two possessions right now. Glenville State start started out with the football. They have had two possessions, but have not been able to get a first down at this point. Anyways, they've thrown the ball five times. They've run it, but they've run it once, and then. And then, meanwhile, West Virginia State has had possession of the football and has been able to move it quite well. They've had multiple first downs and have gotten deep into Glenville State territory, but the Pioneers' defense was able to hold both times. They held them to a field goal the first run, and then the second go around, they were able to get a sack and force a punt, as now it's going to be a – now it's going to be a, a – a big, big possession coming up here for Glenville State as they're going to be deep in their own territory. And this a team, let all emphasize, that has struggled a little bit with the run game. But first off, let's, since we're in timeout, let's talk a little bit of uh, some neat facts about these programs. First off, I'm going to, I want to emphasize the ties between these two. So you have John Pennington, the head coach of West Virginia State, in his seventh season, and what a turnaround he's performed after they really struggled once they moved up to Division II. And Pennington, of course, who played at West Virginia State under Rich Rodriguez in the early 2000s. And Rodriguez, who was also the coach at Glenville State in the early 1990s when they were NIIA, got them to the national title game in 1993. They had two appearances in those in national title games, 1973 and 1993 has Glenville State, both of them losses, but it was in both, or the 93 game, they got there with Rich Rodriguez as the head coach, as now State, Glenville State will have it again as that's going to go, and they're going to try. They were wanting the deep ball. It's thrown and picked off, and that's intercepted by West Virginia State, and that is number one, Jai Martin, the sophomore, who has been a big playmaker for this program. So now three possessions that have resulted in two three and outs and a turnover for, for Glenville State. And now the Yellow Jackets will have the chance to take over from deep in Glenville State territory as the offense is going to come back out. And that's Riddick, and that's McAdoo in the game in the backfield for the first time. Jones in motion. It's handed off to Jones. No, Riddick's going to carry it up, and that's going to be a gain of about eight. So Riddick now as they go right back to the line, as that's Riddick and McAdoo in the backfield. Four wideouts on the field, twins to each side. And it's handed off McAdoo up the middle. He's going to get the, looks like he got it. Yes, he got the first down. So three-yard gain 
on that play and and looks like it might have been Seth Arnold that got in on that. Hammer Isaiah Macklin as blocking back in now for stay. It's handed off. McAdoo carries it, and Ma Macklin gets him. <laughs> we have a helmet coming off there. As well, number zero, Jake and Clark getting after it. <laughs> Lost his helmet for Pioneers, so second and about nine. So 38 rushing yards right now for West Virginia State as it's second and nine here. Man in motion, and Reddick's going to carry it up the middle again, and he's going to get close to a first down. That's, that's going to be awful close. So third down and two now coming up. That'll be a gain of eight, 25 rushing yards for Riddick now. And here we go. They need to get past the nine to get the first down. And Riddick's going to roll out. He's looking under pressure, and he's going to get dropped down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. That's that Glenville State pressure causing some problems on that play. That was number 21, Seth Arnold, the senior that got back there. So, again, the state Glenville State defense able to hold just when it looks like the Yellow Jackets were – Going to be in a prime position, so fourth and five. Schmidt will come out. He'll kick it, and it's up, and no good. So, Glenville State able to avoid a catastrophe on that as they threw an interception deep on the, in their own territory, and their defense was, again, able to hold up and an impressive showing, really, from the defense. As I mean, they've been able to hold State twice now. Again, this being a top 50 defense nationally. And, of course, though, the offense, though, right now, another story as Glenville State has had two three and outs and a turnover so far in this one. And they're going to come back out. That offense led by Garrett. And it snapped, handed off up the middle. And that looked like that was Mindra on the carry. And snapped again. It's fake. This time thrown and caught in the flat as he's looking. Guy and gets the first first down of the game for Glenville State. So some so good fake. And that's a Ryan Bonner on the reception, showing his Foot speed to the outside, a good block around the edge, and he's able to get a first down. And we have a have a guy down for for state. But if you're just tuning in, it's been right now comparing the team's offenses, the yardage, it's one oh five to sixteen. West Virginia State with 105 yards compared to 16 for Glenville State. And 63 through the air, 42 on the ground for the Yellow Jackets, and only 11 through the air and 5 on the ground for Glenville State. But it's a 3 nothing game right now, however, as State has not been able to capitalize having the ball twice in, in the uh, deep in Glenville State territory as now – Though of course, uh, maybe a change of maybe a change of fortune for the pioneers as that's go as they got their first down as they're going to go down field and it's thrown out of bounds. That was intended for Bonner. Bonner who picked up a first down just a moment ago. And Garrett right now two for eight through the air with an interception. So second and ten for Glenville State. And it's handed off up the middle, and they're going to carry it and gets nowhere. Maybe a yard at most. Ah, 
That's the end of the first quarter. The end of the first quarter. So that's going to, to do it here for the first quarter. It's 3-0 West Virginia State in the lead right now as we're getting ready to take a, we'll take a break here shortly. And we'll be, we'll be right back. You're watching Yellow Jackets football on the MEC Network brought to you by Video Productions. Health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan here for you. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what... And we're back. It's third down and nine, thrown and caught. But, again, that's short of a first down. And that was number 11, Heath, with the catch for Glenville State. So, again, the, the, the first four possessions, three and out, three and out, interception, and then this fourth possession, a first down, and again, three and out. So, West... So Glenville State able to br are bringing on the punting unit once again. And that one's kicked back deep, and it's going to take a roll past the, the 20. So it'll be about the 15-yard line that State will take over. Now the Yellow Jackets again, who have outgained the Glen, uh, they have outgained the Pioneers, 105 to 23, so far in this one. As Riddick will take the field again at quarterback, trips bunch formation at the bottom of your screen there. It's three wideouts. And that's handed off. Felder, right side, looking for room. He spins, and he's met by a gang of pioneers and a flag down. We'll see what the flag is. Offense, number 70. Half the distance to the goal, first down. So that's going to be, that penalty will go against West Virginia State. So that'll move them back. Um, and that is the second penalty against the, the Yellow Jackets. That'll go against David Lawson. So here we go. First and about 17 for the Yellow Jackets. It's faked, thrown, caught by Jones. Jones with room, 30, 40. And Jones has a one-way ticket to the end zone. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. What a p play from Riddick to Jones on the slant pattern. And that is going to put West Virginia State on the board for the touchdown. And now the extra point unit will come on. Wow, what a play. Riddick with the completion, 7 of 10 now for 156 yards through the air. Joe Jones, the 5'10 junior running back. With the reception, and he gets into the end zone for the first time tonight. And, wow, that, I mean, and comparing the defense right now, Glenville State gives up, has given up 166 yards per game through the air in the first two games as Schmidt's extra point is good. And tonight, so far, they've given up 156. So, we're going to take a break. And come back, you're watching Yellow Jackets football here on 
the MEC Network, brought to you by Video Productions. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And we're back. And a, a, a wow, what a play. A 93-yard touchdown pass from Donovan Riddick to Joe Jones. And Jones now with his third reception of the game, 112 yards on that end, but it's through the air right now that the Yellow Jackets have done a majority of their damage. 156 yards right now for Donovan Riddick as he is 7 of 10, continuing his tear as one of the best quarterbacks in the country. 75% completion percentage on the year, and Schmidt's kick is short, and it's bobbled but recovered by the Pioneers. And that's number 33, Ben Key the senior linebacker who gets it. And so now Glenville State will come back out. And so far, offensively, they have struggled. Three of nine through the air, 17 yards and an interception and two, three rushes for six yards. Only one first down so far in this game. So also, though, to say the West Virginia State defense has showed up to play as that's going to be handed off up the middle, carried and powered through, but a host of Yellow Jackets there to get the stop. That was Menjor with the carry, and that's going to be a gain of four. And it snapped him and knocked out of there. And that was Witcher, number nine, that got back there. Lomax had the prior tackle. Third down now. And again, a five-plus yardage situation for the Pioneers. They need to get past their own 45 to get the first down. As Garrett, the sophomore, calls the play. And he's under pressure. It's thrown. They're going for the long ball, and it's going to go out. So fourth down again coming up for the Pioneers. As that pass they tried to get they tried tried to get down downfield to, to Jackson, I believe that was that after that, but didn't quite see from my vantage point. So now they're going to once again bring the punting unit out. Xander Watson, the freshman, comes in and it's kicked. That's a way back there. As that's going to take a bounce, but it's going to be recovered. And Glenville State right on the play, though. As that looks like Rubberson that got back there. So now, uh, so, so the Yellow Jackets will start with it first and 10 on about their own 23-yard line. So the last play, though, they had a holding penalty. Before a pass was completed from Riddick to Jones, a 93-yard play off of a slant pattern that resulted in the first touchdown of the game for the Yellow Jackets here. As the, Here we go. The ball is snapped, and it's going to be Riddick dropping back, and he's going to throw. It's caught. Or yeah, that, that is caught, and that'll be a gain of about two. That pass complete to Monroe, number 18, as that's going to be second and eight. They're going with Tripp's bunch again. 
up top at the top of your screen as it's handed off up the men a flag down we'll see what that looks like there may have been some movement up front all start offense number 18 five yard penalty second down so that'll be a false start against Monroe that will make it second and 13 now for West Virginia State Here we go. That's Riddick and Felder in the backfield. Monroe at the bottom of your screen. And that's going to be pitched to Felder. Left side looking for room. And he gets nowhere. Maybe a loss of one or two. So the defense for Glenville State right there. That was number seven, Sean Sterling, that got back there to make the play. And that will be third and 13. Now coming up for the Yellow Jackets, they will need to get past their own 34-yard line to get the first down. As Reddick looks like he's going to make a little adjustment at the, at the line. As that's Johnson and Bunch at the bottom of your screen. And it's starting out as that's going to be Felder. And he spent, tries to get out of there, but he's met by a host of pioneers. He'll gain about five, but won't get any closer on that. As that was, was Hayden Moore that was in on that, the junior linebacker. And now that's going to make it fourth down for West Virginia State as they will send the punting unit on the field for the second time today. And that will be, hey, they're sending heat as, oh, and a flag. And it looks like he definitely got a piece of the punter on that play. That's returned, for, returned by McPoyle, but this one will come back. Personal foul, roughing the kicker. Receiving team, number 32. 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. That's always the risk of sending pressure like that as, he clearly got the punter, and that is going to give West Virginia State a first down. So just when the Pioneer defense comes through and gets a big stop, now it's going to be a first down for the Yellow Jackets coming up. So it'll be first and 10 on the 40-yard line as the Yellow Jackets will bring their offense out. So Felder will... Return at the butt running back position. That's him and, and Riddick out there. And it looks like number 42, Nate Baker, in the backfield as well. It's handed off. Felder cuts back. He's going to get eight, maybe nine, close to midfield. And he hasn't had much breathing room tonight other than an eight-yard gain earlier. So that'll be second and two now for the Yellow Jackets. And it's handed off again, Felder. And he's met at the line. Got a hold of him. And and then uh, that was Lawson, the, the nose guard, that got back there and just was able to hang on to him until some additional help. Sterling and company could come over. That'll be a loss of two. So third and four. And stay. the Yellow Jackets will need to get past midfield to get the first down as that's Anthony and Jones at the bottom of your screen at wide out. That's, and I see Bunch in the slot at the top of your screen. And here we go, third down. Riddick drops back, pressure coming. It's thrown to Felder, caught. First down and plenty more. Felder, 40, 35, and that'll be a gain of about 20 on the play. Bradshaw on the stop, and that'll be the second reception for Felder on the night, his, his 14th of the season. As Felder, who's played a much bigger role in the receiving game this year, and state uh, the Jackets again into Glenville State territory. And they're going to go for the long ball. It's thrown, and is that caught? That's caught! What a play! <laughs> wow! A flag down, that is number 11, Heath 
or I apologize, that is number 11, Ari, Amari Ari with the catch for the Yellow Jackets, and that will put the ball at the one-yard line, a beautifully thrown ball from Riddick to Ari, as that's going to now put, in the, put West Virginia State, set them up at the one-yard line, so a chance to... Defense, pass interference, defense number six, that penalty is declined. Personal foul, hands to the face, defense number 32. That penalty is half the distance to the goal from the end of the play, first down. Wow, so we'll put the replay of this up. Take a look at this ball, wow. Riddick drops back, and you'll see the throw. Look at this reception, tight coverage, one-handed. Incredible reception on that play. So now it's going to be first and goal from the one. And here, here we go. As Riddick will have it, he snaps, hands it off, and Felder will get in for the Yellow Jacket touchdown. So a 34-yard pass from Riddick to Airy sets up that one-yard run, and it's now a 16-0 a West Virginia State lead as or a pen. Oh, good, good catch as a, as a penalty flag is down. We'll see what this one is. Touchdown after the play, personal fouls, excuse me, unsportsmanlike conduct, offense number seven. That penalty reinforced on the succeeding kickoff. Okay, so that one's going to go against Felder, so that will be the fourth penalty. So each team with four penalties so far in this one as Schmidt will come out to attend the. As you can see, the replay for the touchdown to Felder. And the extra point by Schmidt is up, and it's good. So it's a 17-0 West Virginia State lead here with 8.38 to go in the second quarter. Coming to you from Lake and Ray Field at Dickerson Stadium. You're watching Yellow Jackets football on the MEC Network here brought to you by Video Productions. We'll be right back. Timeout. Media timeout. Dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? For more than 125 years, West Virginia State University has been educating generations of students who have gone on to change the world. At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. And we're back as this one's kicked off and caught a fair, looked like a fair catch signal was made. So that will give Glenville State the ball. As, but gosh, a one-yard run by Felder. And what a great pass Riddick to Amari Airy on that last pl play, the 34-yard strike, a deep ball, but a one-handed catch by Airy that set up that one yard run by Felder. And here we go. So now Glenville State, who struggled moving the ball early, is back on the field as they're going to hand it off and run and a train of steam up the middle by Menjor and that's going to be a gain of five. That was Cameron Vargas, the linebacker on the stop. So second and five coming up for the Pioneers. 
Right now, 265 to 32 in offense as it's pitched. No, it's going to be carried up the middle, but the Yellow Jackets right there to make the stop. And that is Corlin Witcher, number nine, the senior that got back there. And that's going to be at the best. I'd say they got back to the line, and that's about where it's going to be. So third and five as they'll need to get past their own 35 to get the first down. But off of the passing game for the Yellow Jackets, 216 yards right now. Riddick 11 of 14 through the air as they're rushing four, and the pass is thrown and caught. It's complete and a first down for Glenville State. And that was complete to Miller, so that'll move the chains. And that is only the second first down of the game for Glenville State. It's handed off again up the middle and just a hard time getting the running game going as that's been a struggle for, for the Pioneers this year. Only 2.8 yards per carry on the ground. And that's going to make it second and 10 now for Glenville State. No gain as they're going to go. You see a bunch formation at the top of your screen. And that's going to be a pass, throw it, drop back, and trying to throw downfield just a little overthrown. I feel like some they've had some over, overthrows tonight and just not really, I don't think, putting the ball. Of course, West Virginia State playing some good defense, but having a hard time trying to go with that longer passing game, mid to long passing game. It just hasn't been there right now. So another third and long situation coming up for the Pioneers. They need to get past the West Virginia State 48-yard line to get the first down. Five men coming and a flag. False start. Snap infraction. Offense, number 61. Five-yard penalty. Third down. Okay, so that is going to go against Ian Pomeroy, the center, as... That will make it third and 15 now for the Pioneers. The officials looking to get the yard marker straight. There we go. So they need to get past the West Virginia State 48-yard line to get the first down as he drops back under some pressure and he's going to try to throw it out and it's caught by Miller, but he might have been, he was out. It looked like he got that, so now that's going to be fourth and 15 for the Pioneers. And again, the punt team comes on. So, I mean, the first five possessions for Glenville State, three and out, Punt, three and out, punt, interception, first down, punt, and first down, punt right now. So, and it's going to be punted and fairly deep punt. Bunch won't return it, and that's going to take a bounce in favor of the Pioneers as that goes back to the eight-yard line. But, of course, the defense getting a, a lot of time on the field right now for – Time of possession right now, the Yellow Jackets have had had the ball for almost 17 minutes compared to seven for the Pioneers. As it's going to be first and ten coming up for the for the Yellow Jackets. As that's going to be Tramps, Trips Bunch formation. I see Jones at the bottom of the screen there as that's Felder and Riddick in the backfield. Riddick with over 200 yards through the air, and it's thrown into the flat and dropped. Pass was intended for number 12, Nolan Johnson. That'll make it second and 10 for State. So here... So now second down as it's snapped and car carried and gets nowhere. They a good job. They're, they're doing a pretty good job sealing off that middle run is 
Glenville State. But, of course, I, with that being said, there's been a lot of other areas. Again, that looked like Diaz that was in on the stop for the Pioneers. So now third and ten as as the Yellow Jackets will need to get past their own 18 to get the first down. As they're going to snap it, Riddick, he's going to go for the deep ball again and deflect it out. And that was good defense on that play by the freshman, James Sparrow. So that'll make it fourth, fourth down as the punting team comes on. So good hold by the Pioneer defense as they look to try to find a way to generate some offense and get back in this one as they're going to try to, looks like they're going to try to block this kick as Schmidt, it's up and oh. Not at all, barely, as that one goes way back, and it will take a bounce to the about the 35-yard line. That was <laughs> a gutsy kick under heavy pressure by Schmidt, and that is going to – oh, wow, we'll take a look at <laughs> – wow. See, he, he noticed the defense coming, and – that was a good show of instincts on that play. And so that is going to be a, a, a great punt. A 58-yard punt by Schmidt. Heck of a play as that is going to put still solid field position for the Pioneers. But, of course, if you're the Yellow Jackets, it could have been a lot worse as it's going to be dropped back and – Ball deflected into the air as Jai Martin, who's been one of the key playmakers for this team, he got back there and made the deflection as it's going to be second and ten now for the Pioneers. Garrett right now four for 15 through the air, 29 yards and an interception. And he's going to hand it off up the middle. And the Yellow Jacket's right there to make the stop. As Menger on the carry, Nazir Jones, number 95, the junior, with the stop. And that's going to be another third and long scenario, third and eight for the Pioneers. They need to get past their own 45-yard line to get the first down. And the dropping back and quarterback run. It's taken up. The big guy nearly gets the first down. But drug down ever. That's going to make it fourth and one. Garrett carries the ball, tucks it, and secures it with two hands and gets close to the first down. And that's exactly what they're going to try to do is get back on the football. That's fourth and one coming. And Garrett's going to try to power it up. And I don't think he got there. Second effort. And I don't think he, he got maybe a half yard. The defense for Jones and company back there for the Yellow Jackets. And we'll see where the spot of the ball is. Officials discussing the play. And that will will be the Yellow Jackets football. So they try to come back up on fourth and one. You'll see Garrett try to use utilize his power, but the defense right there on the stop. Oh, May Lewis may have gotten away with hands to the face on that that one. Wow. So the Jackets catch a big break. The missed call, and that'll be first and ten coming up for West Virginia State once again as they are at 265 yards of offense so far on the night as that'll be Felder in the backfield with Riddick. And that looks like I think that's Jones at the slot back position. 
And it's going to be a pass. Riddick rolls out. And out route pass is complete to Bunch. And that will be a gain of about eight. As they get right back on the line. That's Riddick and Felder in the backfield. Bunch at the top of your screen in the slot. And Felder switches sides. And it's going to be pitched. No, Riddick's going to carry it up the middle. Riddick, 30, 25, 20. Riddick will go into the end zone for the West Virginia State touchdown. What a run by Riddick. And that is going to make it 23 0. Wow. Let's see that again. Riddick, you can see the defense keying on Felder as he comes, fakes the pitch, and has an open lane up the middle. Carries the ball, and he is gone to the end zone. Results of the play is a touchdown. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. The penalty reinforced on the succeeding kickoff. That is number 18's first unsportsmanlike of the game. Okay, unsportsmanlike conduct that's going to go against number 18, Monroe. Uh, and West Virginia State has to be careful of that as that's going to be a 23-0 a lead now for the Yellow Jackets. And Schmidt's kick is up and good. So West Virginia State over 300 yards of offense tonight. And they lead 24-0 over Glenville State. We're going to take a break and come back. You're watching Yellow Jackets football on the MEC Network, brought to you by Video Productions. Hi, I'm Keith Powell with Yes Chevy and Yes Ford. And right now at our Let's Trade Keys event, give me the keys to your old ride and pick out the keys to any car on my lot. And your payments will stay the same until 2024. But hurry, I can only help the first 77 people only at Yes Chevy in Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington, where every car comes with a lifetime warranty. And we're back as uh, that 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 unsportsmanlike conduct penalty moved state back 15 yards on, or the Jackets 15 back yard back 15 yards on the kickoff as that's returned and a good good hustle by the Yellow Jackets to get back there though Barnett with the kick return and I also want to say congratulations to Donovan Riddick on that run the quarterback eclipsed. 1,000 rushing yards for his career at West Virginia State. So a big congratulations to him on that long touchdown run of 37 yards. And you would think right now, I mean, at the Glenville State defense doing an outstanding job on Felder, 17 yards on eight carries. But the passing game has gone wild as that one's handed off up the middle and a nice run. And that'll be a first first down for Glenville State. As that's Xavion Wood, the sophomore from Western Kentucky. As that's handed off again. Wood up for some more, and he's going to get another good gain. It'll be a gain of about six. So second and short now. The Pioneer offense starting to get into a little bit of a rhythm. As Wood again, he shoots through there and gets another first down. So two first downs over the course of the game for Glenville State. However, two on this drive now as they're hustling back to the line. And they're going to go up the middle again. So Wood with, with multiple carries on this drive. And he's brought down by, it looked like Vargas on that play. 
So now the now the play play again, and they're going to go right back left side, and that's carried and looked like Jones was in on that stop. So no Nazir Jones, but a, a third and much more manageable than most of the thirds down third downs tonight for the Pioneers. Third and about three. As it's going to be handed off, Deminger up the middle. He's second effort, and I think he got there. We'll see where the spot is, but I think that second effort was just enough to plunge him through for the first down. But we will see as trying to get the ground game going. Wood with 36 yards on six carries tonight, most of that on this possession. And like, like I mentioned, that has not been... Injury timeout. Something so we have a timeout. Looks like cramps on the field. We're going to take a a quick break and come back. You're watching Yellow Jackets football on the MEC Sports Network here brought to you by Video Productions. It's coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan here for you. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? It'll drop back, thrown complete over the middle to Menjor, and he'll get the get about five. So you can you can see. A, I feel like the Pioneers are in a much better flow on this possession than they've been. They just see, I mean, they're in a little bit of a desperation mode right now, down 24-0 with under two minutes to go in the first half. But Defense, defense. number 23, 10-yard penalty, automatic, first down. Okay, so that's going to be a penalty against the 10-yarder, against the, the, against the Yellow Jacket defense. So that's going to move them into the red zone. For the first time tonight, the the Pioneers, as now they're in pistol formation, and it's handed off left side. Wood, he has a wind jerk correction. He carries it for about five more. So now the running game starting to, to go. That's 49 yards on seven plays, so 54 yards on eight plays so far on this drive for the Pioneers. Second down and six. And they're going to run it again. Left side, it's carried. And he tries to power forward, but met by a couple defenders. Benjor, oh, good sportsmanship there as he's brought down. Looks like by number eight, Fannin, the senior. And that's going to make it third and about six for the Pioneers as they need to get past about the eight of the Yellow Jackets to get the first down. As that's Garrett and that's Wood in the backfield with him. Wood, who's been the impetus behind this, is, as Garrett's going to try to take off, he's going to run it up, hesitated a little bit, but he's going to get drugged down right at the line. A flag down. We'll see what this is it's coming from the side. Officials huddling to discuss. So we have a state player down. So we'll see. I'm not sure if that might have been a hold or. Illegal substitution. Defense. It's a five yard penalty. It's third down. Timeout. Injury timeout. Oh, wow. So a timeout. So that's going to make a third and six. Will be third and one now. We're going to take a break and come back here on the MEC Network. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. 
You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And we're back, and your player got up off the uh, walked off on his own will. So now third and one coming up. One eleven remaining here as as I formation now for for Glenville State as man in motion and they're going to hand it off left side and that's going to be a first down got it by a couple yards handed off to Cy Galloway on the care on the carry and that'll be a, a fresh set of downs here's we're under a minute to go in the first half it'll be first and goal from the five for the Pioneers as they're looking to get on the scoreboard for the first time tonight. That's going to be Galloway in the backfield. Pistol formation with Garrett as it's handed off. Galloway left side. He's drugged down after getting a couple yards. And each team still with all three timeouts right now. Timeout, Glenville. Their first timeout of the second half. So, Excuse me, first half. So Glenville State will take their first time out. We're going to take it with them. We'll be right back. You're watching Yellow Jackets football on the MEC Network, brought to you by Video Productions. Dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? For more than 125 years, West Virginia State University has been educating generations of students who have gone on to change the world. At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. Second and goal. It's faked and thrown into the end zone and caught for a touchdown, but we have a flag down. We'll see what that is. Offsides, defense, number five. That penalty is declined. Touchdown. Okay, so the touchdown stands as the pass was so so the pa pass was complete for the touchdown. And so so that that is a that play is good. Looked like that was Bonner, Orion Bonner that had the touchdown catch for Glenville State. So now Layman in, Brody Layman to kick. It's up and Go straight through the upright. So Glenville State on the board now. And as they're able to put together a good drive, 12 plays, 65 yards, we're going to take a break and come back. You're watching Yellow Jacket Football on the MEC Network, brought to you by Video Productions. Hi, I'm Keith Powell with Yes Chevy and Yes Ford. And right now at our Let's Trade Keys event, give me the keys to your old ride and pick out the keys to any car on my lot. And your payments will stay the same until 2024. 
But hurry, I can only help the first 77 people only at Yes Chevy in Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington, where every car comes with a lifetime warranty. Goes out and so flags down. So, so 24 seconds remaining here in the first half. As we'll see what West Virginia State decides to do, they will get the ball back starting off for the second half. There is no foul for free kick out of bounds. The ball was touched inbounds by the receiving team. It is first down, West Virginia State. Game clock operator, please set the game clock to 22 seconds, please. 22. Okay, so that will, so State will have it first and 10 from their own 35 yard line. As Felder's in the backfield with Riddick, who's thrown for 223 yards so Thank you. far. Jones in the backfield with him. I believe that's Monroe at the bottom of your screen. As Jones goes in motion, it's handed off. Felder spins, turns, goes up, and he's looking to get out of bounds, and he gets close. He'll get about three on that play. He does get out, so that'll make it second and seven, and I think a flag just came down. Man, I saw something fly. Yep, a flag. There is no foul on the play. Okay, so 14 seconds left. It'll be second and seven for the Yellow Jackets as Butler's now in the game. In the backfield with Riddick. Twins wideouts for the Yellow Jackets. And whistles blow again. And that's going to do it, actually, for the first half. So here at halftime, it's 24-7. The West Virginia State Yellow Jackets in the lead. We're going to be right back. We have Yellow Jacket football brought to you by Video Productions. You have dreams. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? For more than 125 years, West Virginia State University has been educating generations of students who have gone on to change the world. At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. Hi. I'm Keith Powell with Yes Chevy and Yes Ford. And right now at our Let's Trade Keys event, give me the keys to your old ride and pick out the keys to any car on my lot. And your payments will stay the same until 2024. But hurry, I can only help the first 77 people only at Yes Chevy in Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington, where every car comes with a lifetime warranty. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. And we're back. You're watching, well, Yellow Jacket football here at the half. It's 24-7 to 7 
as West Virginia State leads Glenville State. I'm Tyler Rowland here on the call, and we want to thank you all for tuning in and watching this one. I say we've had a, a great game so far, and I'm sure we'll be back for – we'll have plenty of excitement here in the second half coming up as we have about 18 minutes till we start the second half. But if you're just tuning in, it was pretty much all West Virginia State for much of the first half. They started off with the football, and or, or Glenville State started off, would go three and out, would, would punt. West Virginia State would get a drive off for a field goal. Meanwhile, we, we, meanwhile Glenville State would, would punt again on a three and out. West Virginia State would get it, drive down, and miss a, a field goal. And then, um, I mean, it was back and forth, and – the Glenville State defense even held when they threw a pick at deep in their own territory as the Yellow Jackets would take over on the Glenville State 30 and would, would miss an opportunity to score. However, they would get the ball or they would get the ball back later on and would score on a big turning point was a 93 yard pass reception a, or a 93 yard Joe Jones pass reception. He's had that that is his fourth touchdown reception of the season as he he caught the a slant pattern and ran it in. Meanwhile, the other way around, Glenville State again just struggled to move the football and West Virginia State would get it back. They would get a, a pass which was an insane one-handed reception. By Amari Airy, a great pass, deep pass from from Donovan Riddick that would set up a one-yard touchdown run by Felder. Meanwhile, a when or when West West Virginia State would again get the ball back later on, and Riddick would bust loose for a 37-yard run, which also gave him a thousand yards in his career at West Virginia State to make it 24-0, but Glenville State, they bounced back on that last drive and picked up some ru some rushing yards as um, as Wood, Xavion Wood led the way with 36 of those yards, and they were able to complete a three-yard touchdown pass from Garrett to Bonner to make the score 24. The extra point was good, made it 24-7 to here at halftime. So I think looking at it right now, West Virginia State is moving the ball extremely well. That offense continuing its great run, 307 yards total right now, 223 through the air, including a passing touchdown for Riddick. And th they have a total of 84 on the ground. And, you know, if I'm, if I'm Glenville State and if somebody came up to me and told me that Felder would had, have 15 yards – on nine carries at halftime, Felder a top five rusher nationwide. I would have happily taken that. But instead, it's been the passing game that's taken over for the for the Yellow Jackets. And so that's where we sit right now as it's um, – and Glenville State, though, just ha they have to find more ways to move the ball. They had – I think I continue to build on that running burst that they got before halftime, 70 yards on the ground – total 33 through the air though and Garrett right now 6 of 17 through the air for 33 yards a touchdown and an interception he's struggling a little bit and but I mean Garrett's a proven winner the team is a total of 7 and 2 with him starting at quarterback so we'll see what we're going to turn it down to the to the field As to engage in the present and to look to the future. I am here to tell you that the future of West Virginia State University is bright. Each and every one of you are the state spirit. Because of you, we are moving our university to new heights.
The future of this institution is bright because you represent that future. Please rise and join me in our battle cry. On a count of three, please join me in saying, go safe. One, two, three, go stay. Thank you. First place goes to David Chester from Dunbar, West Virginia. Second place. Second place goes to W. Goff. Third place goes to Yolanda Guthrie from Chester, Virginia.
could have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. I got involved in officiating volleyball eight years after I played Division I in college. And I wanted to do more than just be a spectator. I wanted to get involved and give back to the sport that I've loved for so long. I'm a speaker. A builder. I coach. Culinary arts. Auditor. A firefighter. And I'm a volleyball official. Officiating volleyball was something that helped me to reconnect to my roots. Volleyball officiating will bring positive influences into your life along with lifelong friends. I said yes to becoming a volleyball official so that I could give back to the game. Saying yes to volleyball officiating will give you the privilege to be a part of one of the most exciting sports around. Challenge yourself as a referee to always be the best you can be. For anyone contemplating becoming a volleyball official, just go for it. Take the plunge, open the door, stay in the court. Just say yes. Say yes to officiating. Learn more about how to get involved at sayyestoofficiating.com. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference. You have dreams. You have dreams. 
A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? For more than 125 years, West Virginia State University has been educating generations of students who have gone on to change the world. At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. Hi, I'm Keith Powell with Yes Chevy and Yes Ford. And right now at our Let's Trade Keys event, give me the keys to your old ride and pick out the keys to any car on my lot. And your payments will stay the same until 2024. But hurry, I can only help the first 77 people only at Yes Chevy in Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington, where every car comes with a lifetime warranty. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan here for you. And we're back. You're watching Yellow Jackets football, and gosh, check out the lighting sequence on that field. Pretty cool, pretty cool setup as, as we're getting ready to start the second half. And it's 24-7. The Yellow Jackets in the lead over the Pioneers at Glenville State. And we're getting ready for this one. We'll see how it, what it comes down. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, West Virginia State is out game. Glenville State three to one in total yards. They have 307 on 40 plays. Meanwhile, Glenville State has 103 on 37. But they were able to get a touchdown on the last drive. So no doubt about it, Glenville State will be coming out in the second half gunning to get a stop. We're going to get ready to get things started. Tyler Rowland here on the call. Big shout out to Garrett West, who's on production with, with me. We're going to get ready here as Brody Clayman, the uh, pioneer, get ready to kick this one off. It's been Donovan Riddick for where the Yellow Jackets has had the standout first half 12 of 17 through the air for 223 yards as that one's recovered and, and not much movement on that play as, the, as that's a, a stop. The, the WBSU will start with the ball as Marcus Ray takes it back with the small return. Brown on the tackle to, for Pioneers as it's going to be shotgun twins wide out here. That's Riddick and it looks like Felder in the back for Felder only at 15 yards in the first half. Gets tackled right at the line. Felder who, at, who has had six straight 100 yard rushing games going back to last season. And right now 15 yards on 10 carries. Right now the Glenville State defense doing its job at least on him as now it's second and ten for as Reddick pitches it to Felder left side he has room Felder first down and that is his biggest run of the night a gain of 12 and will give the the Yellow Jackets a first down their 13th of the game and that's Riddick in the backfield along with Jones. Jones who had a 93 yard touchdown reception in the first half. 
And the ball snapped, Riddick will drop back. He's gonna throw it and it's caught. And close to a first down. That was caught by number 12, Nolan Johnson, the senior. And that'll be the first reception for him tonight, his 12th of the season, as it's going to be second down and three now for the Yellow Jackets. As that's Jones and Felder in the backfield. And the ball snapped, handed off. Felder again, right side, has a little room. First down and some more. And that's going to be a gain of about 10. So Felder has doubled his rushing total so far this half. He adds 15 yards in the first half. Felder, who has over 400 yards on the year and one of the nation's leading rushers as, as he gets another, his second first down. Now it's going to be another first and 10, as that's Johnson at the bottom of your screen, Bunch and at the top, and Reddick's going to drop back. He goes to Johnson again. Nice catch on the curl route, and that's going to be a gain of six. Second reception for Johnson on this drive and in the game. As now that'll be second and four coming up for the Yellow Jackets. And I believe that's Harry at the top of the screen. Wide out, Harry had an amazing 34-yard one-handed reception in the first half. As it's handed off, Felder cuts back, spins, turns. He has room, spins again, and another first down. Felder again, he's starting to heat up. He has had three first down runs on this drive. 15 yards at the end of the first half, 30 yards on this drive. And it's now first and 10 once again for the Yellow Jackets. As Riddick fakes the pitch, he had a touchdown run off that in the first half. He goes 20, stiff arm close to the 15 yard line and he gets tackled out of bounds and that will be about nine, a gain of nine yards for Riddick. Who had 59 yards rushing in the first half, including a 37 yard touchdown run off that same play. Thank you to so now second and one coming up for the Yellow Jackets here as they are in the red zone. They are on the 20 of Glenville State. As they show blitz, it's snapped, handed off. Felder up the middle and he's gonna have another first down. It's like four progress. That'll be enough to move the chains a gain of about three. So four first downs for Felder, rushing the ball on this drive, and that is going to be so a, another. So it's been Felder and Johnson that have had some yards. As Riddick has completed two passes to him on this drive. Riddick, 14 of 19 through the air, 236 yards with a touchdown. So now it's going to be first and 10 once again for the Yellow Jackets. And here we go, Riddick. He drops back, throws to Johnson. Oh, thought he had it for a second, and it bounced off. That was a, that was good, good defense on that play. That looked like Mark Shepard that was in on that, the junior, as he made the play defensively, and that'll make it second and ten. And the Yellow Jackets will have it again as they have been running the ball quite effectively. Felder on this drive. He has 32 rushing yards on this drive to start the second half. Only 15 he had at halftime. As Riddick gets the snap, hands it off. Felder up the middle and he's going to get about four more. Felder brought down now and it's going to be third and seven. And the the Yellow Jackets will need to get about to the eight yard line of Glenville State to get the first down. Yeah, we go to come in mid staff, in mid staff. Here's we have just over 10 minutes to go in the third. Over 300 yards of offense in the first half for the Yellow Jackets. As the ball is snapped, four wideouts for Hey, as Riddick, he's gonna throw it and looks like well, looks like what he was looking for wasn't there, and he throws it out of bounds. So that is going to put a stop to West Virginia State, and they will come out and try to attempt the field goal as Schmidt has been one, has made one, missed one tonight. His long has been a 34-yarder. Schmidt 
And this one's up. And it looks wide left. So the Glenville State defense holds to start this second half after it looks like the timeout taken. And we'll go ahead and take this timeout. You're watching Yellow Jacket football here on the NBC Network, brought to you by Video Productions. We'll be right back. Health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan here for you. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference. We're back here on the MEC Network as it's 24-7. West Virginia State in the lead. They had a good drive going. However, Schmidt struggling tonight has missed two field goals. And now Glenville State, who had a touchdown on their last drive before the half, will start out in the pistol formation. It's handed off, and they go back to the run that powered them to that touchdown in the first half. Minjor's going to gain two or three. So now they're going to get right back on the ball as that's Garrett in the backfield at quarterback. Menjor as receivers bunch tight. And that's faked. Garrett's going to roll out. And he's going to throw it out of bounds. He was looking for Bonner, but I don't Bonner was covered pretty well on that. Orion Bonner, who had the touchdown reception in the first half. Now third and eight for the the Pioneers, and that has been a, a problem for them tonight. They've had some five-plus yardage situations on third down as they need to get past their own 30 to get the first down. Garrett drops back, six for 17 in the first half. He looks, dumps it off, it's caught, and Menchor's going to get close. I think he might have got it. That's going to be awful close depending on the spot. And they're motioning for the chains to move. So first down for Glenville State. And I think that was a good move by Garrett looking short instead of trying to make the longer completion. It's handed off. And Midgel with a burst of speed up the middle gets the first down. And so it'll be first and ten now for the Pioneers. That's going again for a gain of five. Ninja again. And that's what they, they've been looking to do. That's what's worked for them, just getting back to the line. Power running now as Galloway comes back in. So a gain of 642 yards on the night for Minjor. He has 42, Wood has 36, and that has been a an area that the Pioneers have struggled this year as the run game, but it's handed back off, and Galloway's going to get a couple more as that's going to be a third and short as they cross midfield. Galloway, who's carried it, that'll be his fourth carry tonight as that's 93 yards on the ground for Glenville State. Timeout. Injury. Timeout. Converts to a media. Timeout. An injury timeout as we're going to take a we'll take a quick break. You're you're watching you're watching Yellow Jacket football on the MEC network here brought to you by Video Productions. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? At West Virginia State. 
You are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. Back, an injured player was Amari Lewis. He got up and powered off on his own will. And third and two for Glenville State as Garrett's going to hand it off up the middle. And wow, what a powerful run. I think he got it. That was Wood who, or no, he's going to be marked about a half yard short. So that'll be you know, fourth and one for Glenville State. Wood, oh gosh, looked like they were going to have him in the backfield. And he was what helped power the Pioneers to – that touchdown in the first half as he came alive on that drive as they are going to go for this as Glenville State 0 of 1 on fourth down conversion. So far tonight, they tried a quarterback sneak earlier and ended up, and they may try that again. They're hustling back to the line, man in motion, and this time it's going to be handed off again. Up the middle, plenty of room, and... First down for Galloway. He's He gets about eight on that. So that'll be a, a good gain as it looks like Lil Max might have been in on that stop as first down now for Glenville State. They're going to be in the pistol formation. And they're going to hand it off. Galloway right side cuts it up, and he's going to get about three more. As this has been the answer for Glenville State, they only had two first downs until that last drive of the first half when they were able to go the length of the field for a touchdown. As now it's going to be second and eight for the Pioneers as they're going to be in pistol once again. And it snaps. It's given to Galloway. No, it's a fake. Garrett's going to throw it downfield, and it's incomplete. And that pass, pass broken up. Avery Scott in on that one for the pot, for the Yellow Jackets. So third down and eight now for the for the for the Pioneers. This will be a big down coming up for them as that's Barnett at the bottom of your screen at wide out. Garrett on the screen. It's thrown and caught and plenty of room. Flag down, but he breaks loose for the touchdown run, but that is going to be called back, I believe, a hold. And that was number two, Miller, on the reception. But, oh, yeah, Miller, I think, and I think you can see by the look on his face that is probably going to be a holding call. But a nice play, no doubt about it. He was able to get to the outside, and you saw Miller's breakaway speed. Illegal block in the back. Offense. Ten-yard penalty. Third down. So that is going to make it a – we'll see where they – where it's going to be brought back. So that, that will make it third and 18 now for the Pioneers. Ouch, a tough, tough break on their end. As that is, as they will need to get past the 30-yard line of the Yellow Jackets to get the first down. Of course, they've made some decent plays tonight and have started to come alive. So we'll see. Yeah, but Tariq Miller, got a good reception he had on that, but called back due to the block back. So now third and 18 coming up, and it snapped. Garrett drops back a little bit of time. He's going to roll out. And Garrett launches it downfield to Bonner and a flag. And that will probably be pass interference. But we'll see what the official ruling is.
Pass interference. Defense. Number eight. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. So that pass interference will go against Nicholas Fannin, the senior. So back-to-back -back penalties, one against Glenville State that pins them back. But then they go for the deep ball, draw pass interference, and that will give them a fresh set of downs inside Yellow Jacket territory at the 32-yard line. And it's handed off to Menjor again, right side, spins, turns, cuts up, gets the first down. Menjor, some tough running here in this second half. Menjor, who had, uh, had 105 yards rushing in his first two games, averaging only 2.8 per, per carry tonight is over 50 yards and averaging right around four and a half a carry as it's again carried up and we'll see where the spot is i'll see a flag down holding offense number 77 10 yard penalty first down timeout injury timeout Okay, so that is a, a holding call, and that, that will go against John Kelly, the six foot six senior. So an injury timeout taken. We'll be we'll be right back. Dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? For more than 125 years, West Virginia State University has been educating generations of students who have gone on to change the world. At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty, You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you... And we're back. Witcher was cramping up, got off on his own power. They're going to go for the deep ball again. Caught. Touchdown, Glenville State. Pass complete to Barnett. What a great play as Riddick downfield 33 yards or I'm sorry Garrett downfield 33 yards for his second touchdown completion of the night and now that's going to to make this an interesting ball game as you can see look at the time he had greatly thrown ball Garrett looked calm in the pocket and caught downfield Barnett his first reception 32 yards and this one kick is up and a flag down Again, the kick is good, but we'll see what the penalty is. We'll see what the official call is. I'm going to lean that this is something unsportsmanlike. Officials discussing it with illegal substitution defense that penalty is declined okay so the point is good so extra points good so 24 14 the yellow jackets leading the pioneers we're going to take a break and come back you're watching yellow jacket football on the MEC network brought to you by video productions Hi, I'm Keith Powell with Yes Chevy and Yes Ford. And right now at our Let's Trade Keys event, give me the keys to your old ride and pick out the keys to any car on my lots. And your payments will stay the same until 2024. But hurry, I can only help. And we're back. Glenville State scores on a 32 yard touchdown strike from Garrett to Barnett. And this one is going to be Jones returning and he'll get past the 40 yard line. 
So good starting field position for the Yellow Jackets, who had four first downs on their last drive, but could not convert on the field goal. And Glenville State, who struggled on their first five possessions, two first downs, a turnover, but since their last two possessions have resulted in touchdowns. So first and ten now for the Yellow Jackets and a player to watch as Felder had only 15 yards at halftime on nine carries, had 35 yards on the last drive, and Bunch catches it. Nice adjustment by Bunch, able to keep in bounds, and he will get close to a first down. Or thought, I was on the opposite end, but he was able to, <laughs> I thought for a second he slipped out and got past the first down time marker. Out. Injury timeout. So an injury timeout taken, as we'll see the replay of Bunch, but a nice catch by him. And we'll take a break and come back. You're watching Yellow Jackets football. You have dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? For more than 125 years, West Virginia State University has been educating generations of students who have gone on to change the world. At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do. And we're back. Apologies, I could not see. Everybody was bunched up. I could not see the player there's a number that was hurt but it was a, a but the good news is he was able to power off the field on his own will so it was cramps as that's going to be they're going to move the chain so felder another first down several first he's had five first downs i believe tonight has felder but 15 yards on nine attempts for the first half and 36 on seven now so here in the second as it's going to be another first down, and it's going to be handed off. Felder left side has room, goes around, and he's going to get five yards. A good wrap-up tackle on that play. As the two number sevens collide, as that is Felder and Sterling, the junior. So now second and five for West Virginia State. As that's Felder in the backfield, him and Nate Baker, number 42, as Reddick makes an adjustment at the line. And it's snapped. Reddick pitched to Felder, and he has room. First down. Felder stays on his feet, powers through. Felder continues to move the pile, and he's going to get down to the 20 yard line of the Pioneers. That's another first down for the Yellow Jackets now as they are right around, quote, well, uh, on the 21 spotted at, so they're close to the red zone. Once again, that's 78 yards now on the night for Felder. As it's handed off, Riddick fakes it. Butler in the game now. Riddick thrown out right side, caught again. They like that little play to the right side, and that was number 18, Monroe, with the catch and a flag down. Holding, offense, number 70. 10-yard penalty, first down. And that's going to be a hold against David Dawson, the center. And that'll move the move it back 10 yards. So first and 20 now for the Yellow Jackets. They need to get past the 12-yard the line of Glenville State to get the first down. 77 yards in penalties tonight on eight flags meanwhile 50 for Glenville State on seven flags as they're going to go trips at the top of your screen 
And Butler in the backfield. It snaps. Butler rides or no, Riddick right side, and he's going to get a couple. Yeah. <laughs> Good fake on that play as so, but Riddick will gain a couple on the ground. He has over, he has 68 yards rushing. And that's going to be second down now. For 71 yards on 11 carries now. Riddick with a 37-yard touchdown run. And this one. And here we go. Blitz coming. Riddick throws it. He's going to go to Jones. And that's intercepted. That is. That is intercepted. And it'll be Glenville State football. What a great play. That was number seven, Sean Sterling, that came up with that as he tried to launch it to Jones in the end zone. And it's thrown up. Man, what an interception as Sterling got up there a good read. So now Glenville State, who has scored on their last drive, they, two drives, they trailed 24-0 and since have been able to come back on, and had two long touchdown drives. As now teams are... Stop, stopping, we're going to adjust the clock here. Should be 127. They're going to move it back to here in the third quarter. So, game clock operator, please reset the game clock to 138, please. 138. Oh, 138. So, it'll be reset to. But the story of this second half so far, West Virginia State, two times they've been able to get near the red zone, and two times the Glenville State defense has held up. West Virginia State missed a field goal the first time, and then the second time they had a turnover off an interception as Wood takes it from the backfield, and he's going to get back to the line of scrimmage. I got to give it to him. Wood's had a couple runs tonight where he's been, it looked like he was down back there, and he was able to squirt through at least to get back to the line. Second and 10. Now as they're going to throw it, Garrett looks. He rolls out. Garrett under pressure, completes the pass, and that's going to be a gain of about four. Pass complete to Tariq Miller. And that's going to be his third reception. He has 20 yards on the night. Garrett, nine for 22 for 77 yards through the air. Two touchdowns and an interception. The completion percentage is not very good, but he has been in stride. He started, I believe, four of 15 and it's since been five for seven, third and six. Garrett rolls out under some pressure, throws it, and out of bounds, incomplete. And that will be fourth down coming up for Glenville State. So pass was attempt, attempted to Orion Bonner, who had the first touchdown catch for Glenville State, and now the punting unit will come out. So the defense for the Yellow Jackets holds up. And it's a, another long one. And that's a six punt for Glenville State. And the Yellow Jackets will take over on their own 43-yard line. Oh, here we go. That's going to be Butler in the backfield with Riddick. At the bottom of your screen, there's there's a wide out is Jones, Bunch, and I believe that's, that's Johnson. So a fresh set of downs coming up for the Yellow Jackets who have accumulated over 400 yards of offense tonight. 245 through the air and 159 on the ground. And it's handed off. Butler's going to carry it. Takes a hard hit. And he's going to get one or two. 
It looked like in on in on that was Brown, number 32, the linebacker. So second and nine coming up for the Yellow Jackets. As that's going to be Jones and Felder now back in the game. In the backfield, Felder with 78 yards tonight. Riddick with 71 on the ground. And whistles That's the again. End of the third quarter. The end of the third quarter. This okay, so, West State. so it's 24 to 14. West Virginia State in the lead. We're going to be back. You're watching Yellow Jacket football here on the MEC Network, brought to you by Video Productions. Hi, I'm Keith Powell with Yes Chevy and Yes Ford. And right now at our Let's Trade Keys event, give me the keys to your old ride and pick out the keys to any car on my lot. And your payments will stay the same until 2024. But hurry, I can only help the first 77 people only at Yes Chevy in Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington, where every car comes with a lifetime warranty. You're watching Yellow Jacket football here, and it is 24-14 going into the fourth quarter, although Glenville State has been on a 14-0 run just when it looked like the Yellow Jackets were going to run away with this one. The, the Pioneers made a big run near the end of the first half, scoring a touchdown, and then got a stop and a score here starting the second half. As State, though, continues to move the football effectively as Felder takes it. He has room left side. He spits. Hearns gets close to the first down, and he may have it. We'll see. Brown on the tackle, and that's going to be just short, so third and, third and just under a yard coming up for the Yellow Jackets as they're going to go four wide out, so it's Jones at the bottom of your screen in the slot. And Felder now at the running back position. Jones in motion, and it's handed off. No, Riddick's going to take it left side. Riddick first down, cuts it up and gets struck down right past the 35-yard line, but not before he gets the first down. That'll be a gain of about close to 15. So Riddick now getting... McClosey, 86 yards on the ground tonight. He's getting closer to 100 yards rushing as, yeah, 85 yards for Riddick, 86 for Felder right now on the ground. Riddick, who also has 245 and a touchdown through the air. As Riddick, who came into the game number three in the country in pass completion. And it's first down. Riddick hands it off. Felder up the middle, plows, and gets about two. So second down and eight coming up. So now for the Yellow Jackets will keep had that was Bradshaw, the junior, number forty two on the stop. Second and eight now as Reddick. Hands it off to Felder. He's going to squirt through the middle and gain four or five more. And more laundry hits the field. Let's see. Holding against the offense. Holding. Offense, number 52. 10-yard penalty. Second down. That's going to go against number 52, John Fitzpatrick. The graduate left guard. And that'll move him back 10 yards. So that is the ninth penalty for West Virginia State. They have 87 yards in penalties tonight. 50 for Glenville State. And second and 18, they need to get past the 34 of the Pioneers to get the first down. As Riddick now with Baker in the backfield. And Felder. 
And that's Bunch and Johnson at the bottom of your screen at wide out. And Reddick's going to drop back. He looks. He's going to go for the long ball. And intercepted. That is picked off by Devontae Roberson, the junior. So second interception for Riddick tonight. As he, you can see he drops back, throws it, and excellent positioning on that play. Good job keeping stride for stride with the receiver. And the pass is interception. Riddick only had two, one interception in 96 passing attempts coming into the game tonight. He has two in this one. Both coming in the second half. So Glenville State, another chance to come out and potentially cut this lead a little bit more. They trailed 24-0 in the first half. As this one's going to be snapped, handed off up the middle. And that's going to be a gain of about five. As that's Menjor that squirts through there. He, he gets, that is his 13th rushing attempt. That'll make it second and... And four, and it's going. They're going to go again. The pile moves, and that's going to be might be a first down, depending on the spot. And the official motioning for the chains that'll move it. So Menjor again on the carry, as he's really heating up tonight. Menjor, who struggled rushing the ball in his first two games, and first and ten coming up for the Pioneers. And blitz coming off the edge, Garrett. And he looks. He's going to launch it downfield. And, oh, incomplete. Pass was intended for Barnett, and who had a touchdown reception earlier. And that'll make it second down. And it looked like Fannin was on the defense. So that'll make it second and ten coming up for the Pioneers. They love to try that deep ball. As Garrett, who had a 32-yard touchdown pass earlier off of that. So second and 10 for the Pioneers, and it's handed off. And up the middle, that, that is Galloway, and he'll carry it for about three, four maybe. And third and six. I think that was Jones that was in on that. Jones a Witcher. As third and six, they need to get past the 25 to get the first down. Garrett drops back. He's going to go again downfield and incomplete. Looks like some miscommunication on that play. He was expecting somebody to be in the spot. Uh, it wasn't there. And now that's going to make it fourth down here in the fourth quarter. So Glenville State will go back into punt formation again. And they have punted the ball seven. This will be their seventh Yes, yeah, seventh punt tonight. They've averaged right around 42 yards per punt. Their long being 56. And here we go. The Pioneers will punt. No, it's a pass. And it's complete to Brown. And he's going to get the first down. So a fake punt, a gutsy call by the Pioneers, but it results in a first down. Pass complete to number 32, Brown. So the fake punt by Glenville State results in the first down. So they will get keep the ball alive and, and come back, and their offense will come back out on the field with a fresh set of downs. We'll look at the replay on that. You can see punt formation goes back and instead just lofts it over the head there to the so a gutsy call that Xander Watson pass was complete for that fake punt, and that'll be a loss on that play. So Witcher gets back there and a, a loss of one on the play as Wood is in the backfield with Garrett. Here on this second and 11. A gutsy fake punt call. We'll see if the Pioneers can capitalize on this. And the bullet pass is caught. And that's going to be a gain of about eight. 
Pass caught by number 11, Heath. And he's that'll make it third and about two. So now... Back on the line is the Pioneers, and it's handed off. They're going to go to Wood, and he's met in the backfield. Witcher in on that, as is number 44, Vargas. The defensive line right there to sniff that one out, and that's going to make it fourth and about four now for Glenville State. A big moment of truth coming as looks like they're going to go for this. They, we may see them try to get State to jump, get West Virginia State to jump. On this fourth down. And now they're going to snap it. And Garrett across the middle. And it's picked off. It's picked off. And going the other way with it. And that is great play by number 23, Nick Blake, the sophomore. And he will get the interception, giving West Virginia State the ball deep in Pioneer territory. Well, look at that again. You can see Jarrett drop back under pressure and the pass intercepted by Blake. After the interception, personal foul, face mask on the offense, number 11. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Uh, face mask penalty, that's going to go against number 11, Heath. So that's going to make it a first and goal situation now for the Yellow Jackets from the four-yard line. Wow, so a big turn of events. Glenville State, a gutsy call on fourth down. They uh, A fake punt to get a first down. They get held on third down. And then fourth and four, they go for it, throw the interception as that Yellow Jacket defense was able to, to get back and force pressure. Second interception for Garrett tonight as now Felder is in the backfield again with Riddick and Felder up the middle. He's going to squirt through for a couple yards. His 21st carry tonight. As him and Donovan Riddick have combined for over 170 yards on the ground. Second and seven. Actually, they're not quite on the goal. Like I thought, they're going, they need to get to about the two to get the first down. You know, Two-yard line. As Baker now is in the backfield with Riddick and... Riddick and Felder. And blitz coming. It's handed off. Felder right side. Goes in. Touchdown. Yellow Jackets. Felder with his second score of the night. And that's going to make it a, again a three. It could make it a three score game if this PAT is good. But a, a Felder right there. A, the blitz came around the opposite side. Felder able to find the right hole get into the end zone, and get his second touchdown, 99 yards. We'll look at that again. Look at the hole open up. Felder goes through there almost untouched and gets the touchdown as Schmidt comes in for the PAT. And snaps good, kicks up, and is good. So it's 31-14. The Yellow Jackets in the lead, 8.22 to go here in the fourth quarter. We're going to take a break and come back. You're watching Yellow Jacket football on the MEC on the Network, Media brought to you by out. Video Productions. Health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan, here for you. What are you working for? Do you want to pursue your athletic potential while earning a degree that will benefit you for a lifetime? Do you want to play at the highest level in your sport? Do you want to be a champion? That's what the proud members of the Mountain East Conference are advancing toward every day. Providing opportunities and pursuing excellence. The Mountain East Conference.
It's 31-14. West Virginia State scores on a seven-yard Felder touchdown run. Gets a second score of the night, and it's now 31-14. West Virginia State in the lead as Schmidt will kick this one deep, and that's going to go back and roll into the end zone for a touchback. So if you're just tuning in, West Virginia State would go up 24-0 in the first half, but Glenville State got a touchdown to a, a short pass completion to Orion Bonner right before half. Meanwhile, the West Virginia State would have two good drive, three good drives starting off the second half. They would get deep into Pioneer territory, but would miss a field goal once and twice would turn it over via interception. And Glenville State was able to capitalize on one of those. However, when they got the ball back, um, Glenville State would turn it over on fourth down on an interception with giving them great field position as the screen pass is complete and caught by Barnett. That'll be a gain of about four. But Glenville State able to, or in the fourth down situation, Nick Blake picked off a pass setting the Yellow Jackets up in great field position, which Felder capitalized with a seven-yard touchdown scamper as now second down as they're going to go downfield and pass is th overthrown intended for Orion Bonner, and it's going to be third down and seven coming up for the, the P Pioneers. And on third down tonight, Glenville State has been four of 14 really struggling from there. The offense this year so far as a whole has struggled somewhat. It's been a team that's relied more on their defenses. But, of course, we'll see. There's a lot of football left. We'll see what they dial up on this play. As Garrett drops back, he's pressured and pass intended for Barnett. Incomplete. So that will make it fourth down. Garrett 11 for 30 through the air tonight. 90 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. And as now Blake was in on that play, Blake, you had the interception earlier. As it's going to be fourth down, as Glenville State will go for this one. Now that's number 19, Dylan Day, at the bottom of your screen, Orion Bonner in the middle of the three receivers. At the bottom of your screen as Garrett drops back and a flag down. False start. Offense, number two. Five-yard penalty, fourth down. And that's going to be a false start, and that's a costly play. That makes it a fourth and 12 situation now for Glenville State. That is their ninth penalty, 66 yards in that area as they will attempt this 4th and 12 from their own, from about their own 23-yard line. And that's Garrett in at quarterback. Ball snapped. Pressure coming. Garrett throws it out, and it's caught. But not able to get anywhere is Menjor. And again, the pressure from the Yellow Jackets was a big part of that play, and now that will be another turnover on downs for Glenville State, and the Yellow Jackets will come back out as they lead 31-14 and a chance to put a serious, serious dagger in this one. And here we go, first and 10, they will start from the 21 yard line. And that's Felder in the backfield. And it's snapped, giving Felder up the middle and he's going to power his way for about three, maybe four yards. As that was Diaz in on the stop. Him and Macklin, the nose guard. Uh, 
That's going to make it second and seven now. As that's Baker and Felder in the backfield with Reddick. And they need to get to about the 10 to get the first down. It's handed off Felder right side. Spins and he's bottled up at the line. And again, that's Diaz on the stop. Jameer Diaz in on a, the defensive end, the freshman in on a couple big plays. And now that's going to be actually a loss of about two. So that'll make it third and nine coming up for the Yellow Jackets. As Baker in the backfield. And Felder in motion. And Riddick drops back and whistles blow. Neutral zone infraction, offense, number 42, lining up in the neutral zone. It's a five yard penalty, still third down. So that's going to go against the Yellow Jackets and as that will move them back five yards, that's going to go against Baker. So that will make it third and about 14. Let's play that as the 10th penalty, 92 yards in penalties tonight for the Yellow Jackets. As the ball is snapped, Riddick, and it's going to be handed off. And Felder will carry it. And gain about four. And a flag down. We'll see what this is. That one came late. We're going to see officials are discussing right now. That's going to be sportsmanlike. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct. Offense, number 52. 15-yard penalty, the fourth down. Mm. That is number 52's first unsportsmanlike of the game. The defensive player may remain in the game from his helmet coming off. And that's going to go against Fitzpatrick and a costly penalty as that moves them back 15 yards. The Yellow Jackets getting some, just some, some dumb penalties tonight as just some coming from after the play. That's their third unsportsmanlike and 11 penalties now for 107 yards. And, I mean, when you consider the performance they've had offensively, 443 yards, I mean, that can hurt them as they're going to go for this fourth down. They need to get about, well, they need to get to, to about the 10 to get the first down. <laughs> That's 28 yards, so. Timeout. A timeout. West Virginia State, their Eight. first timeout of the second half. So. Yeah, we're, we're going to, we'll just keep it here, but if you're t you're just tuning in tonight, it was uh, it was a, a first half that was just just about all in West Virginia State's favor. They were, they were ahead 24 nothing before Glenville State would go on a touchdown run to scamper. They they had uh, they they had two first downs until late in the first half when they put a touchdown drive together and then the second half Came, came back, were able to get a stop and a score to cut the lead to 24-14. But then a fourth down play in which Garrett threw an interception. Nick Blake was able to pick it off and run it back to about the 10 of West Virginia State and or of Glenville State. And that set up a seven-yard Felder touchdown run to make it 31-14. However, right now, it is a fourth down and extremely long situation for the Yellow Jackets, and instead of going for it, they're going to bring out the punt team as Schmidt will come back out, and they've punted the ball twice tonight, including a 58-yard punt, which 
was a gutsy play from the end zone as but Glenville State sent the pressure and Schmidt was able to hold through as now they're getting ready to punt again after the unsportsmanlike conduct and it's blocked and recovered by Glenville State so they'll take over at the 40 yard line and it looks like that was number 30 Lewis that recovered that one the freshman and so now Glenville State will come back out on offense with and maybe we'll have to put something together here. Look at that pump block as we'll see the replay on that. That was Brown that got his hand in on it. Good job shooting through the line to get back there as now it's going to be first and ten for the Pioneers. Wow. And as that pass is incomplete, and thank you to Garrett Lester, who's on production with me. Big shout out to him. As he's the official attendance tonight, 3,952. That's very impressive. Wow. Heck of a turnout here. So, second down and 10 coming up for the Pioneers. They brought a pretty good crowd themselves, I see, across the field as. That one's handed off up the middle. Menjor has room close to a first down. And I think he's got enough. He does. They're going to move the chains. So Menjor up to 73 yards rushing. And they're going to be right back on the line. As it snapped, Garrett drops back. He's going to go downfield and incomplete. Just overthrown. Looks like Barrett might have had a step, but just couldn't get to the football. Or Barnett, as that's going to make it second and ten. And now the Pioneers will get back on the line. And Garrett, ball snapped, handed off Menjor left side. Cuts it up, and he's going to get close to the first down. I don't know if he got it that time. He came, I think, a yard short. Actually, about a couple yards short. But that will put him at 82 yards on the night on 16 carries. Five-yard average, almost double what he's been averaging in his first two games. As it's snapped, handed off. Menjor left side again. First down, cuts it up. Menjor gets past the 30. Menjor approaching 100 yards now as he gets another double-digit run, and that'll put the ball into uh, past the end, end of the deep into Yellow Jacket territory. First and ten now as Garrett will drop back. He's going to try downfield again, going for Bonner. Caught touchdown, Pioneers. Orion Bonner with his second touchdown catch tonight, and Glenville State. Get back on the board again, their third touchdown of the evening as they cut the lead back to 11 here with 4.03 to go. And we'll look at the replay. Garrett drops back. You can see plenty of time and a, a beautifully thrown ball. Bonner on the catch in the end zone, and that will be good for six as now come, they come back on the field to kick. That is Lehman into attempt. It's up. And it's good. So 31-21 as West Virginia State still in the lead. We're going to take a break and come back. You're watching Yellow Jacket Football on the MEC Network, brought to you by Video Productions. Timeout. Media timeout. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty. You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. 
we never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities. And we're back, Layman to attempt the onside kick coming up as a touchdown pass was complete to Orion Bonner for 30 yards for the touchdown as it's kicked and it looks like the Yellow Jackets recover this one. And that, that was Felder who recovered the onside kick. And now four minutes to go. I imagine we'll see the Yellow Jackets run the clock out or try to as they're going to come back out on offense. As that's Ray at the top of your screen at wide out. That's Jones and I believe Johnson and the the bottom of your screen, Baker and Felder in the backfield with Riddick. And it's handed off. Felder carries it, trying to steam, spins, and he stays up. Felder still on his feet, gets the first down and gets out of bounds for a gain of 15 yards. And Felder, who's over 100 straight yards on the night, his seventh straight 100-yard rushing game going back to last season as he is up to 115 on 26 attempts with two touchdowns tonight. And a fresh set of downs now for the Yellow Jackets. Here are looking to take their time. And understandably so, as it's going, they're looking to We'll probably run it again here. They're going to go to Felder up the middle. He powers his way, gets two, maybe three, and gets brought down. Brown in on that stop along with Diaz and Sterling. Second, so actually gain of one, second and nine. Now, as the clock continues to run, under three minutes to go. 27th rushing attempt for Felder. Reddick, and it's going to be a pass play. He rolls out. He's going to throw the out route. Caught, and I believe that was Bunch that had the reception. It was, and he will get, get the complete completion. He's going to get out of bounds, and... But that will stop the clock here as they, that'll be third and about three to go for the Yellow Jackets. So third and three from the 25 of the Pioneers now as are the clock continuing to, my mistake, clock continues to run. Now, of course, I say he'll go to Felder here, their playmaker. No, they're going to pass it. No, it's pitched to Baker, and he's going to take it up the middle for the first down. Nice play call by the Yellow Jackets as Baker gets the reception. Yeah, that's a, quite a ni nice design as, as Baker gets the first down. I believe he has, yes, Baker, who's had one reception this year, which was a touchdown pass, a one-yard reception. His second reception on the year, and it's a big one as it gives the West Virginia State a first down and keeps the clock moving here as they are deep in Pioneer territory. It's pretty, yeah, tight, yeah, the timeouts. Let's see, West Virginia State with two. Glenville State has three remaining as that's carried up the middle again. Felder. And that, he's going to get five more. So second down and six. Yeah, unlikely we'll see Glenville State. And so second and six now coming up as we're under a minute to go. And it's handed off. That's Butler carrying now. And he'll get two, maybe three. 
Uh, that should do it. Here we may see one more play. West Virginia State, 472 yards of offense tonight as they're able to come in and pick up a big win, avenging a loss from last season against Glenville State. They've now won six of the last seven in this series as <laughs> some celebrations. Down field, wow. Felder doing, showing off some gymnastics on the other end. And that will, will do it. Your final score, West Virginia State defeats Glenville State 31-21 here at Lake and Ray Field, Dickerson Stadium. We're going to take a break and come back for post-game analysis. You're watching Yellow Jackets football on the MEC Network, brought to you by Video Productions. Have dreams. You have dreams. You have dreams. A better life, a better job, a better you. So where do you start to build the skills necessary to get there? For more than 125 years, West Virginia State University has been educating generations of students who have gone on to change the world. At West Virginia State, you are not just a number, you are who you choose to be. You receive personal attention from award-winning faculty, You study in nationally recognized programs. You learn the skills that will get you the job you know you can have. No matter where you want to go or what you want to do, it starts at State. Hi, I'm Keith Powell with Yes Chevy and Yes Ford. And right now at our Let's Trade Keys event, Give me the keys to your old ride and pick out the keys to any car on my lot and your payments will stay the same until 2024. But hurry, I can only help the first 77 people only at Yes Chevy in Hurricane and Yes Ford in Huntington where every car comes with a lifetime warranty. Choosing health coverage for your family, your employees, and your company is one of the most important decisions you can make. The health plan proudly supports our active and healthy communities and has been your most trusted carrier for over 40 years. We are here for your family. We are here for your business. We'll be here for you when you need us most because your health coverage is our priority. The health plan here for you. And we're back. Your final score West Virginia State defeats Glenville State 31 to 21. West Virginia State improves their record to 3 and 1. Glenville State falls to 2 and 1, and of course West Virginia State on track to I mean potentially have they've had multiple 8-win seasons as a program historically, but the team this year no doubt about it set to try to get there the program that I mean, has had a lot of success, 1922 and 1936 HBCU National Champions as they they now are, okay, hang on, gosh, what a gorgeous fireworks show that's going on. But the but, but tonight um, for Don, Donovan Riddick, just what a game for him as he – he, he goes 17-26, 254 yards. He did throw two interceptions in the second half, but had a touchdown. And, and, then, um, and then Felder finished with 120 yards on 28 carries. An impressive showing, as in the second half, he had 105 yards on 19 carries. Riddick also had a nice night. 85 yards on 12 carries and a touchdown. Him and Felder, who would combine for over 200 yards. Butler with nine on five. McAdoo with four on two. Receiving, Jones finished number 26. Joe Jones finished up with 112 yards on three receptions tonight. And along with a touchdown, Airy had two receptions for 49 yards, including an incredible 
one-handed reception in the first half. Bunch, Jawan Bunch, finished with 41 yards on five receptions. Felder had 24 on two. And Nolan Johnson finished with 13 on two. On the other side, Glenville State, Garrett finished 13 of 34, 118 yards through the air, three touchdowns and two interceptions. And Watson, the punter, would have a nice conversion on fourth down, a one for uh, pass to number 32, Brown, for seven yards. And then Mentor finished with a nice game running the ball, 91 yards on 17 carries. Wood, who propelled the team to a touchdown in the first half, um, he didn't score, but he, he was a big part of that drive. 34 yards on nine carries. Galloway had 22 on seven. Garrett had six on four. Receiving Bonner finished with three receptions for 40 yards, two touchdowns. Barnett had two for 35, including a 32-yard touchdown reception. Miller, three for 20. Heath, 16 on two receptions. And Mentor, seven yards on three receptions. But we want to say thank you so much for tuning in tonight to watch this Yellow Jacket football game as they pick up a big win over conference foe Glenville State. And, of course, the it's been a heck of a good night for football. Great weather outside and, of course, an awesome fireworks show. And coming up next for the Yellow Jackets, they will play on the – Nine, uh, September 30th in Buckhannon, West Virginia. They will play West Virginia Wesleyan at 1 o'clock, which will be on MEC TV. And we want to say thank you all for tuning in and watching this one. You've been watching Yellow Jackets Football, brought to you by MEC, uh, the MEC Network and Video Productions. God bless. Good night, everybody.